say anything about himself. So before I begin, I'll say a few words about him just because he's like, just an amazing asset to our organization and corporation. Uh, this gentleman uh, not only hosts this event, but also helps us to expand our business all across the country. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Uh, real quick, before I get started, I'll give you my uh, two-minute Dundon Brand Street, my background, if you will. I uh, born and raised in Maryland, about 15 minutes outside of Washington, D.C. Uh, probably raised like most of you. My parents told me to go to school, get some good grades, get out and get a good job. We all have parents like that, right? Yeah. And I did that. I went to uh, college right there in Maryland, a college called Bowie State University, also University of Maryland, uh, also the University College at the University of Maryland, which is a nice school, University of Maryland. <laughs> then I went back to the day school, University of Maryland. <laughs> and then I went back to Bowie State University. <laughs> True story. It took me seven and a half years uh, to get my four-year degree. And uh, you know, last night I was at a, uh, a gala a fundraiser event that we do uh, with a nonprofit. And so a young lady next to me, she, uh, she's got a master's, she's got like a lot of different degrees. And she says, where did you go? I said, I went to the Bowie State University of Maryland. She says, oh, so where did you do your undergrad? Where did you do your, uh, your grad? And I said, no, both of those were undergrad. <laughs> 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 like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, so... Um, <laughs> So I've got to tell you about all your know, PhDs and masters, it's kind of funny. But anyway, but here's my point. It took me a long time to get my degree. I was very undecided in school. That was my challenge. I had no idea what I wanted to do. I only went because my mother said, you have to go. And so I was every major, you name it, I was it. I was pre-med, zoology, psychology, radio, television, and film, journalism. Whatever your major was, I probably was too, right? I went to my advisor my seventh year, and I said, listen, what do I need to do to graduate? And for those who've attended college before, you know you can have more than enough credits to graduate, but just not all in the right thing. She said, look, first of all, you got enough credits for three people to graduate with me. <laughs> she said, second of all, if you take a major in PR, public relations, you actually have enough to graduate right now. And I said, you mean like today? And she said, yeah. I said, great, that'll be my degree. So I said, I got up. I did. My mother was happy too. Thank you. And uh, I played the resume game. However, my job, I, I worked at this mall all the way through college. So the mall was paying me about $40,000 a year when I graduated from college, but my degree and all the job interviews I went on offered me about $24,000 a year with my degree. So I couldn't afford to take a pay cut from $40,000 to $24,000, so I stayed there at the mall uh, feeling stuck. I don't know if you ever felt stuck at a job before. I was working 60, 70, 80 hours a week. If you ever work retail or know someone who has, you know my hours. Yes. The weekends are the most important time in retail, so I miss everything that happened in my personal life. Uh, my spiritual life is on the weekends. Uh, my kids, uh, sporting events are on the weekends. Family unions always on the weekends. You get my point. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for something. I was looking for a change. I was very open. And I was introduced to a home business. Uh, I didn't know that. They told me it was an interview, and I showed up, and all these other people were there. <laughs> I said, what are these people doing my interview? <laughs> right? And so it was a little trickery there. There was a bunch of vitamins and things that they were selling. I didn't know any better. I was gullible. So I ordered thousands of dollars <laughs> worth of vitamins. <laughs> That's a lot of eagles. And so I went over and told my wife and everything. I said, baby, we're about to get rid of some vitamins. I was serious, too. And she was serious. And she said, if you don't sell them, you're going to use them yourself. <laughs> and by the way, Georgia, that's why I talk really fast. Not because I'm from the northeastern area of the United States of America, but I'm still using vitamins. No one bought them 15 years. <laughs> They're free now. Shipping to you. Free. <laughs> So that's my story. So I tried a lot of different things. Legal Shield came along. Uh, I was hesitant. I must be upfront with you. Not because of Legal Shield, but because of all the things I tried before. Mm -hmm. I was painting this picture with the same brush. I was like, oh, no, I've seen all those type of things before. Mm -hmm. But thank God I was open enough to at least look at it. I was 28 years old, frustrated um, by trying a lot of different things. But at the age of 32, Legal Shield had paid us over our first million dollars. So this is <laughs> My job today, real quickly, uh, to share with you some information uh, that will allow you to make a wise and well-informed decision for yourself. I will preempt by saying this, uh, never convince people to do anything they don't want to do, because then they'll do it because you're convincing them to do it, not because they made their own decision to do it, and they won't succeed anyway. So we're just here to present some information with you this afternoon and let you make a decision for yourself. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's get right into Legal Shield. Uh, main front of this what we call the haves? aren't using lawyers because they're bad people. They're using lawyers so they can continue to have or have more. So they can make better decisions before they make any type of decision, they seek good counsel. Now the have-nots, so the people that can't afford lawyers, continue to have not or have less because they wing decisions because they can't afford access to good counsel through lawyers. So what we're saying is that good people need lawyers too. 
So we have to stop saying, oh, I, I don't need a lawyer. No, we all should make better decisions through people who have been educated to help us to make those decisions. So we've all dealt with these everyday situations. We've been overcharged for repair. We've been treated unfairly. We've been taken advantage of, right? Yeah, you take your car to the mechanic, one problem wrong, go to pick it up, there's two other problems wrong. Smoke it down, but wasn't smoking when you took it. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Landry. Receive a traffic ticket that should have on the way here. We should have, I thought with Mr. Edwards, we should have received one. <laughs> they died, they died. So these are all situations that everyday people deal with. Legal Shield, a unique service of prices benefit. What do we do? Because the average person doesn't make $30 an hour at their job, so they've never even thought about spending $300 an hour for a lawyer. So it's been a justice system we've been priced out of until Legal Shield, because we're leveling the legal playing field. For one flat monthly fee, you can access legal advice no matter how traumatic or trivial the issue. And you're probably thinking at this point, I know you're not going to just read every slide. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, the recruiter, you, you can do the exact same thing. It's not the messenger. I want you to take the messenger outside of the message here and just see the message. And you did this in school anyway, so it should be easy. Remember that? You followed the red bouncing ball? <laughs> Under the protection of legal shield, you have that right to live your life. <laughs> so, over two million requests annually. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to read you. Legal advice, unlimited issues. I love this. All we do is pick up the phone and say, look, I need advice. It can be personal or a business situation. I can't believe this. this you can tell the way I respond here. I'm very passionate about this because I've used it so many times, and I cannot believe I have the ability to pick up the phone and say, look, I just want to know, can they do this to me? Look, we're some uh, property that we have in Maryland, and I just believe that somebody's not doing something right on my behalf. Right? And I won't tell you the whole situation yet because it has been resolved. But for me to be able to say, you know what, hold on, hold on, hold on, before we move forward, let me pick up the phone and call my lawyer. And mean that. Mm -hmm. When I have to worry about a bill showing up in my house, this is peace of mind. That's right. And so I can't imagine being without this, whether I was on this stage or not. It makes sense for me to pick up the phone and say, please give me some advice. I've been downsized from my job. Should I get a severance package? Should I get unemployment? Right. Or hey, look, I'm thinking about starting a new business. Should I get an LLC, an LLP, an escort? Which one can I offer a 401k to myself? You know, people don't know. But the man to pick up the phone and say, look, I just need advice is huge. Not only that, they're writing letters and make phone calls on your behalf, and a lawyer writing a letter means a lot more than you and I writing a letter, yes? Yes. 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 I'll tell you, I, I, I can be on the phone all day long, arguing back and forth, and the company doesn't want to help me out. When my lawyer makes a phone call, all of a sudden, they see the light. Look, <laughs> so I'll give you a quick example. We see the postcard in the mail uh, from our homeowners insurance saying they want us to update the daycare we have in our house. But there's only one problem. We don't have a daycare. Mm. So I'm thinking, what in the world? No, we have four kids. When their cousins come over, it looks like a daycare. What is that? <laughs> right? So I'm thinking, what in the world? So I told my wife, I said, hey, baby, you should call them because maybe they're charging us for a daycare. She calls them. Guess what? They were charging us for a daycare. And she says, I'm sorry, we don't have a daycare. We have a business in our home. They said, well, yeah, it shows that on our computer screen that you have a business. We do. It's called Legal Shield. We have a you know, couch and an office uh, with, with the bookshelves and the computer, but no daycare, no kids. And it says, well, uh, ma'am, um, you know, we see in the computer that uh, you have a daycare check under the type of business. Mm -hmm. And she says, well, we don't have one. How long have you been charging us? Three years, they said. Wow. They said, three years since you went to college and went home. And so my wife says, I cannot believe this. How do we get reimbursed? They said, we can't reimburse you. Oh, no. If you can prove you don't have a daycare, we can stop it from this point, but we can't reimburse you. My wife says, well, that's not acceptable. They said, we well, can complain. Who are we complaining to? <laughs> what does that mean? Complain to the same for your supervisor who's sitting next to you? So I told my wife, I said, don't worry about it, just hang up. So we called Legal Seal. Legal Seal says, no problem. We're about to let her make a phone call. Let us see which one works, works out in your favor. We went on vacation, came back, it was like three to four days later. Guess who's in our mailbox? Yeah. A check for three years of overpayment to a company that told us there's nothing they can do that we can complain. All of a sudden, when the lawyers made the phone call, they can write us a check. <laughs> So, so once you really understand how to use this, because most folks don't use lawyers, but only because they've always thought about their checkbook before they thought about their rights. But once you start thinking, you know what, I should call my lawyer. Or why stress out about the things that life has to offer? Because life will offer some stressful situations, yes. So why deal with that when you have access to good counsel? So pick up the phone, call your lawyers, don't hesitate. Contracts and documents on your behalf, up to 10 pages at no cost. After 10 pages, falls under, falls under the discount. But if you've ever used a lawyer to review contracts, a couple of pages can be a few hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And so again, this just makes sense. This is saved us a lot of money. This one area alone right here has saved us tens of thousands of dollars. Just from that one area. So I, I think of it like this. Uh, when I tell you how much this is every single month, 
and I've already saved that tens of thousands of dollars right here, my service already paid up for the rest of my life because they've saved me that much money on this one area. I would have to be Moses to live long enough to pay all this back. <laughs> That's a whole new character in the Bible. Okay, don't worry. So, the point is, that I saved a lot of money. Uh, you know, money. Lord is preparing a will, living will, health care, power of attorney. This is huge. I didn't have a will, almost embarrassed to say, um, because when I joined Legal Shield, we had two kids, and I didn't have a will. Sitting in the seats out there. And, you know, if you don't have a will, your state will have one for you. You may not like it. Mm -hmm. And so it's just sad. I, uh, we have a friend arrived, her mom passed, and she didn't have a uh, last will and testament. And um, she didn't have a living will as well. She wasn't so upset about her mom passing. Um, she believes her mom's in a better place. Her mom's been suffering for a while. But she was upset because her uh, and her mom's sister, who's her aunt, no longer speak because her mom was connected to life support. And she thought she did what she, what she thought her mom would want, which is to disconnect her. She thought her mom wouldn't want to live that way any longer. Her mom's sister disagreed with that decision. So now her and her aunt no longer speak now that her mom is gone. And death should bring families together, but sometimes it separates families. Does that make sense? Yes. And so a young lady lives in Georgia as well. And my point is, is that it just makes sense to have a will. I can't imagine my four kids going through 40 years, 50 years of their life, wondering if they made the right decision for dad. I wouldn't put that on them. That's right. right? So no matter how old you are, if you're, your, if you're a teenager here, don't put your parents through that. Don't put your siblings through that. And if you're older, don't put your kids through that. Legal seal is taking away the number one excuse, which is money. $500 or more to have a lawyer draw up a will for you. We give you one for trial and service. So if you're like me and you walk in without a will, you walk out with access to one after the presentation. <laughs>